Hey everyone, greetings from Halftech. Today we'll be doing a tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining how to unlock the bootloader of the Honor 8 Pro and install TWRP recovery. So first of all, make sure you back up all your data because uh, once you unlock the bootloader, it will automatically reset the phone, which will lose all the data. So first we need to make sure that the ADB drivers are installed. So go to Chrome and type in ADB installer Android. Now I'm tapping it down. Okay, here you go. As you see, there are various links pop up. The first one you need to go is xdadevelopers.com thread, which will be the third one, as you can see in the link. And in, inside the link, uh, you just need to scroll down and you will find downloadable version. The current version is 1.4.2. So you can select from either of the links that they are shared so i have chosen the shipy one it's just 9.17 mps in size so i'm hitting download so you can see it's downloading once it gets downloaded you have to double click it as you're running any other program okay here we go it's done yeah yeah, just yes, we'll double click it. It's uh, running the Chrome security check. Okay, so now it's done. Once you double click it, you will get the installer window. I'm waiting for that to pop up. Yeah, this is the installer window. So just press the Y and press enter. It's uh, installation of ADB and password. Do the same for other pop-ups as well. So if you do not install it system wide, you'll not be able to use anywhere in the system. Okay, so the driver window pops up. Now we can click the finish button to finish the installation of the driver. So once you have done this, now your phone will be able to connect to your system. The next thing we have to do is we need to get the unlock code from Huawei. So type in the link which is I have given in the description. So once you get into the page, it will look like this. You need to have a Huawei account uh, to sign in and to request for your code. So as of now, I'm typing in my my account details. I'm blurring this information since they are sensitive. So once you enter your email ID and password, which is having the Huawei account, then the followed by the verification code, you'll be able to sign into uh, the Huawei account. I guess most of you might have a Huawei account while you're creating or uh, configuring your new phone so once you log into this page you will see a uh, certain options you go click on unlock one and this is the unlocking agreement as you can see once you unlock your bootloader uh, there are chances that you will lose your warranty uh, and there are certain security risks as well make sure you have read all the information mentioned in the agreement click i accept and then click next and after that you will see uh, this page in this page you will have to input all the details of your phone basically the ime number model number etc all this information can be found in your about menu so uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to go to the about settings and you can find every detail there and once you input all the details you should input the verification number and then you have to press commit once you commit you'll be greeted with your code you have to copy paste this code and keep it somewhere safe so that we can use it sometime later. Now what we have to do is we need to enable the developer settings. So if you don't already have the developer options, you have to go to the about phone and tap your build number seven times. So once you type seven times, this option will be visible. So go to the developer settings, scroll down and you can find the USB debugging option and check this on. You will receive a pop-up showing allow USB debugging. Please check this on. Once you are OK, then we are ready to go. Similarly, you should enable the OEM unlocking option from the developer setting. Now we'll start the bootloader unlocking procedure. For that, what you have to do is you need to go to the ADB folder where you have installed the drivers. It usually is inside the C drive. You can find the ADB folder, go inside that folder. And you need to go to the address bar and type cmd and press enter all you can do is shift right click and select open cmd here 
So type, type in, I'm just checking whether my device is connected or not. You can use the code ADP devices. Once you are done and connected, you are ready to go. Now type in ADP reboot bootloader. This is basically rebooting your phone into the bootloader. So once you are rebooted, you can see this screen. So if it's everything is okay, you will get to the screen. Now type in fastboot OEM unlock. Your key. This is a key you have uh, got from the Huawei website. If you have done everything correct till here, you will be greeted by this screen. You have to press the volume up button and the power button to select. So once you select it, the phone will start rebooting. So if you see in the command prompt, uh, as you can see, it will already say the boot order unlocking is finished and the phone has entered into a factory reset mode. So uh, this screen will, al will always be there whenever you start your phone that your bootloader is unlocked so right now the phone is going into a reset mode as uh, you have unlocked your bootloader now we can go with the GWRP flashing so for that uh, I have provided the link in the description it's an next year developers link uh, developed by all droid copy paste that link and go into the XDA developers page as you can see this is the one uh, it's a beta BUK GWRP 3.1.1 version so once you are in this just scroll down you can see the downloads page download that image so once you have downloaded the image you need to go to the same adb folder inside the c drive and paste the recovery there and make sure you rename it to recovery.image this is basically for the ease of typing it in the cmd so right now again launch the cmd by typing cmd in the address bar and connect to your device as usual then type adb devices and make sure that your device is connected once your device is connected and running what you can do is you need to type this command adb reboot bootloader so this is the same command that we have done previously so once you have rebooted the bootloader you will be greeted with this screen so once you are in this screen you are ready to go you need to type uh, this command fastboot flash recovery recovery.img there is recovery.img so whatever the name you have given to the recovery that's why I already named, uh, told you to rename it to recovery.img so as you can see uh, it has finished uh, writing the recovery so now once you reboot your phone you can press volume up button and the power button for a couple of seconds then you will be greeted by your new GWRP recovery so it will be like this so pretty much that's from me guys thank you very much thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe